Hey girls, it's me Taylor, and today we're gonna do a tutorial on on um, how to do beads on natural hair. We just washed my hair. We washed it with Kitty Technicals Flower Power Hair Shower. You'll notice that we also use Soul Tanical Shampoo Bar. This thing is genius, but we did use the kitty shampoo as well. Next, we use kitty tuckernels, brownie curls, and bubblegum curls. Fundy conditioner. Now, we're going to use kitty tuckernels. Cotton candy hair fluff, leave in soft, leave in soft. After you wash your hair, you put the leave in conditioner in your hair. Mmm, it's not this smell like cotton candy. It does? Mm -hmm. Do you know what the lock method is? No, I don't. All right, so the lock method is leave in, leave in, and then oil, and then oil. So what oil are we using today after this leave in? Um, we're using coconut oil. Good job. All right, take it back. So it smells good. Yes. Yeah. Put your head down. Thank you. I wonder what this one. Oh my god, it smells so good! What? Whatever this is. Oh my god, it smells so good. Wow, it smells so good. It smells like it should be like a perfume or like an air freshener. Nuh-uh, it smells like cake. What does it smell? What is this? It smells like a pie or says, cake. It says, what's the and mom, uh, butter, right in, but slices of olive, and kiwi fruits, and this hair bound, bouncing Alright, so it's my turn to do the voiceovers. I um, use these tools throughout the process of doing Taylor's hair. Right now I'm using a pink rat tail comb just to make the first part, which is the back layer. And I like to make it pretty, I guess, medium size. And I like to finger detangle to make twisting easier. So take um, a little square, any size. We like to do medium size just because it's easier to take down. But I just do a two strand twist making sure it's very neat and detangled all the way through. Even if I have to use the rat tail comb or brush um, to detangle, cause you know, as you twist, it kind of gets tangled up. So you wanna eliminate that. So we have the first twist done and I'm just gonna move on to the next piece and do the same thing, finger detangle and start twisting. So here's a tip for my mothers out there. If you have issues doing your child's hair, as far as them being bored or not cooperating with the whole process, definitely keep them entertained. As you can see, Taylor is on my cell phone and she is playing Minecraft. I really don't mind them, you know, being entertained with cell phones, laptops, tablets, you know, listen to children's music or watching TV. I just want them to enjoy the wash day, enjoy styling. So it's not so much a chore, it's an actual bonding time for us. So I think I've done a pretty good job of this. Taylor and Skye have been doing their hair since they were babies. And they get it, they're so, I don't know, we just love doing our hair. So we're on the last section of this row, 
which is so rewarding. I don't know about you guys. When I finish a row, I'm like, oh my gosh, we're getting somewhere. So basically for this style, I did a part from ear to ear, basically in the middle of her head. In the whole back section, we did two strand twists. And look how juicy they are. So tentacles. Oh my gosh, this brand is amazing. The products are so bomb. Her hair feels super moisturized. Um, so now we're doing a second row. And again, we're just going to detangle. And we're going to take a small square and start two strand twisting again. And we're going to do this all the way through the back. And then as you can see, I have two um, side parts. Hold on, I'll, I'll show you in a second. See, we did the two strand twist on the sides as well. And left like a wedge, kind of a triangle at the top. Because we're going to do that into a ponytail. So for the ponytail, we just, first we did a part in the middle. The front part, we did flat twist. And I'm going to do kind of like a close up so you can see. Now on my flat twist technique... It's just a two strand twist and you're just picking up hair to make it lay flat onto the scalp. It's hard to explain, it's even hard to film, but there you go. <laughs> and now the second part of this wedge, we're going to do the two strand twist. And the reason why we did this is because we wanted the ponytail to have multiple two strand twists, not just four because if you do a flat twist, you would only have four hang times or whatever. So we did the two strand twist in the second part of it. And then we're going to put it in a ponytail in a second. Because everybody knows how to two strand twist, right? So there we go. All done. Yes. <laughs> so again, we just put that top wedge part into a ponytail. And I just used a goodie hair band. So you definitely can keep the style like this if you want. It will last you probably about three weeks if you add moisture every night. Um, after that, it'll be a little bit frizzy. You may have to redo a few. Um, but we're going to be adding beads. And this is the tool that we use to feed the beads onto each two-strand twist. And, oh my gosh, I don't know what my auntie used when I was a kid, but she did not have this magical tool. I think she actually had to, like, fold our little hair in, a, in half and, like, you know, do it with your fingers to get the bead through. I don't know, but this tool is everything. So, um, we put seven beads on here because this is a shorter one. Um, and then we did a second set. So basically 14 beads on each twist. Seven is enough, but Taylor wanted a lot of beads. So I let her have a lot of beads. Um, so I would feed the beads through. And then I would hand off the tool to Taylor. And then she would add the next seven beads on there. So she helped out a lot. Um, while she was doing that, I would do the foil part, which I'm showing you right now. Some people use rubber bands, but I think rubber bands are damaging. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing a close-up of me doing the beads again. At this point is when I would hand it off to Taylor. And I would do the foil part while she, while she put the beads on ready for me for the next twist. So there she is showing you she knows how to do it. She's so helpful. So again, close-up of me putting the bead through. So again, you just put the hair through the hoop and then pull it and the beads go all the way on the length of the hair. So there's the foil. I lay the hair flat, fold the foil over once, fold it over again, and then I just do a twisting technique to make sure it's really secure on the length of the um, hair. And then at the end, I fold it up to make a little stopper. And then I'll bring the beads down in a second. I guess I want you to see that really good. All right, so it's like an L shape basically. And now I pull the beads down and then I still make sure that foil is very secure so it doesn't, you know, let the beads fall down. 
beads are so much fun. I really like that it actually stretches the hair and I'm pretty sure Taylor loves that too. As you can see, her hair is shrunken a lot but once you add the beads, you have some hang time, some major hang time. Now I'm gonna do my edges with Eden Body Works Control Glaze Edge Gel. So this style literally took about two hours, not including wash day. Um, we're all done. This is actually the next morning, and we ran out of clear beads, so we had to add some white ones. But Taylor loves it, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun. I don't know about you guys, but this was a highlight of my childhood. In the summer months, my auntie used to do me and my cousin Kina's hair and beads, and it was something special to visit auntie, to get the style that we only got once or twice a year. It was just a lot of fun, and, um, you know, Taylor and Skye feel the same way. We're going to do Skye's hair tonight, so we'll share those results as well, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you let your kids wear this style as well this summer. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them below. And definitely leave your stories of how you just loved wearing beads. Tell us your horror stories. If you lost beads, if your mom got mad, or if you hit yourself in the eye with beads, whatever. It's just a lot of fun to go down memory lane. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Goodbye, everyone.